able to make the session. Um, just feel, we'll, uh, we'll send out the replay link in about 24 hours. Okay, so now that we're recording. Okay, so once you've set that income goal of about $100,000 for yourself or whatever your income goal may be, the system is going to take the initial crunch, okay? It's gonna let you know for the next 12 months, you need to connect 2,899 times in my situation. Whoa, that sounds like a lot, okay. But really, if you stop for a minute, consider how many people you connect with in a day, then maybe a week, then maybe a month, let alone a year, the number would be staggering. We are simply taking an intentional approach, okay? We're telling you this is the number you need to focus on. Clear the path and get focused here. So 2,899 connections. Come along with us. Team Z is gonna break that down for you into a bite-sized chunk. Okay, based on my overall income goal of $100,000 and then my connections goal of 2,899 for the year, that actually breaks down to about six connections with my prospects, four with my customers, and then three with my coaches. 13 total connections? I can do that. That's a feasible milestone. And that's the difference between an achievable goal and a not so achievable goal is having that pathway, or where do I put my foot next, okay? You all know it, human nature leads us to deviate. We try and make it up as we go along. I'm gonna throw it at the wall and hope it'll stick, right? Not so great when you're trying to achieve a goal. When you're trying to get to a certain place, you need to know where, what is my path? Where do I go next? So that's what we're giving you, is your feasible mile markers from here to your goal. Every day you need to connect, with this number of connections to your prospects, customers, and coaches. If you're thinking to yourself, like I said, I know some of you are already powerhouses. Jay, I do that many connections before breakfast. You're awesome, okay? Keep up the work, that's fantastic. You can get ambitious here. Go for your stretch goal, um, sort of challenge yourself. This is your baseline. Team Z is giving you your structure or your immediate path. If you wanna hit that path doing 100 miles an hour, by all means. Okay, so if I wanna come in here and alter my goals, I just click in the field and I update it. You'll notice the system has created a goal for you connection-wise for prospects, customers, and coaches. And then if we come down far enough, it's also created a goal for daily invites and then daily additions. Okay, so daily invites. We all know what invites are, okay? I'm just gonna cover it really quickly. These are going to be intentional calls to action. Okay, anytime you send an invite to someone to join you for an event, an upcoming challenge group, something of that nature, okay? We've got a specific goal for this because that gets us that much closer to our goals. Why? Because they call people to action, okay? So then you've got your daily additions goal. Why? Because Team Z is a lead generation system. I'm not sure if anybody mentioned it to you. <laughs> so what it's gonna help you do is constantly generate new leads. It's got your focus on, have you introduced new people to the products and services that you offer? Because if you haven't done that today, you just close the doors on your business. It has to be daily, it has to be consistent. And that's the real perk to having a system like Team Z. All right, so when you're satisfied with your goals, you can always overwrite the daily invite and the daily additions goal. I know I've got, um, I've got some amazing coaches that are, you know, blitzing for summit or whatever the case may be. So they're kind of, you know, really focused on the number of invites they send, the number of ads, that kind of thing. If that's the case, get in there and you can customize. All right, when we're ready, we'll hit continue here and we're through to the second part in that setup. Like I said earlier, it's gonna be that powerful why statement. Why did I get in this business, okay? It's just another tool in my toolbox that I can call on when I'm having a challenging day a reminder in my own voice sometimes, a whisper at the end of the day of why I should get up and do it again tomorrow. Okay, so hit continue here when you're ready. And we are at the actual exercise. So Team Z is gonna pull it out of you if you've never done it before. Why'd you become a coach? I can use an extra $500 a month. What did you hope to accomplish? Um, well guys, for me, honestly, I hadn't saved any money since college and this presented me the opportunity to do that. Uh, why is that important to you? I married a Marine out of college. <laughs> we were looking at a military life with not a lot of disposable income. So for me, um, it started to deepen as I answered questions. You may find yourself in that same scenario. It's okay if the answer to the first question doesn't feel transcendent, okay? 
it will deepen with time. So go through and answer each question. Once you get to this final field, you're gonna to wanna to take the answers to all of the questions above and actually create the full why statement. So if you're thinking, Jay, I answered all the questions, my powerful why statement is not appearing on my dashboard. You need to go back to the setup wizard and then save the answers to above in this field. Even if that means copying and pasting the answers to each question in that bottom field. All right, so we'll hit continue when we are satisfied with our why statement and we're on to the meat of setup, that import process. Okay, so if you've got a pen and paper, go ahead and grab that really quickly. I'm gonna give you a couple tips here, okay? So when you're importing because you're bringing in lots of lists, I recommend that you start with your customers and your coaches from your Beachbody back office. I'm gonna hit you with that one again. Start by importing your customers and your coaches from your Beachbody back office. I make this recommendation only because that's where a lot of your good information is, okay? So phone numbers, email addresses, physical addresses, things like that have been collected in your back office. While Facebook, because it's got such seriously stringent um, security policies, it can't release that information to you. So start with your customers and your coaches, put those into Teamsy, and then from there, bring in um, any of your uh, email services. If you're bringing in Gmail, Outlook, anything like that, go ahead and start bringing that file next. From there, go to any of those um, beautiful custom Excel spreadsheets that you might be rocking out, okay? The ones that have the color coding and the you know, next follow-up date, go ahead and bring that in next. <clears throat> Once you've got that, um, your custom spreadsheets in, then go over to your social media, okay? I recommend this order again because social media gives you the least amount of information, okay? It's a great, great tool because now you know who's in Facebook, you know who you should be connecting with every day without having to pull up Facebook and manage that separately, okay? But the greatest source of your information is gonna be your Beachbody back office, your email services, LinkedIn, things like that. Then you can move on to your personal spreadsheets. Then last but not least, go over to Facebook or if you're bringing in an Instagram or a Twitter list or anything like that. Okay, those are my tips with importing contacts. Keep in mind that Team Z will search for duplicates by email address, first and last name. So you may have to do some manual cleanup. There are my tips there for importing. We've got some videos here that outline the major areas that you're exporting from. I do see a couple questions coming in, guys, but hang tight. I will get to those after we go over um, power hours and follow-ups, okay? So once we've got your, um, your Beachbody back office imported, then you may want to go over and uh, bring in your Facebook contacts. These videos walk you through those processes. And then ultimately, this video will take you through bringing any file into Teamsy. I'll show you how quickly and easily you can do that. We'll hit continue and it brings us over to the import page. When you're importing files into a new system, people often get hung up on what file format will the system take? Is this okay? Is that okay? I completely understand because we are, we're held by that same sort of um, uh, kind of baseline where we need certain file formats, but Teamsy will actually tell you yes or no. Okay, so if you're thinking, I don't know if this is the right format, I don't remember what she said in the webinar, you can always choose your file. Teamsy is going to run a screen and it's going to let you know file has been successfully uploaded. It's going to give you a green check mark if you can move forward. It'll give you a red X if it's a no-no file. Okay, the file formats that are acceptable are right here on this page for you also. But like I said, just choose it and move forward. Okay. So let's say I've selected my file for import. Before you move forward, I have a recommendation here. We have advanced import options. So if you click here, Teamsy is going to let you do a few things. Right on import, okay? So if I have 100 people on this list, I can tell Teamsy, this is 100 of my Facebook friends, or this is 100 people that joined me recently for a challenge group. You can actually tag this entire file. So let's say, like I, I said a minute ago, this is my Facebook list. I can, in my tagline, say this is a Facebook list. Whoops. Okay, I can go ahead and type in there whatever I'd like that tag to read, okay? So you can create as many or as few as you'd like. 
they're customizable. You can do them by date, event location, whatever the case may be. But I like to point it out during the import process because a lot of people miss this feature. And it allows you, like I said, when you're bringing in lists of 500, 1,000 people to apply a tag to everyone at once, which is gonna stack the odds in your favor. Because at the end of this, you may end up with 1,500 names. It'll be nice to look at it and say, oh, that's right, Greg and I are Facebook friends. Or, oh, Charlie and I connect through LinkedIn. Whatever the case may be, you can use your tags as you see fit. All right, now, once you've created your tag, you've also got the option to drop people into their member type. So this is a list of my customers, a list of my coaches. Okay, what I'll say with this is that as Beachbody coaches, we have created TeamZ for you, okay? So we have kept in mind that this is coded for your coaches and your, um, and your customers. So when you bring a list in from your back office, it's automatically gonna get typed as customer automatically going to get typed as coach. But if you're bringing in your own special Excel spreadsheet that you know is all customers, you can go ahead and say this is all customers or this is all coaches. It's your choice. Okay, so those are your advanced import options. Once you're ready, you hit continue. The system lets you know that it has automatically mapped that file, putting the phone numbers with the phone numbers, email addresses with email addresses, and so on. Okay, we'll hit continue here. The system is going to bring in the, the names from that file and it redirects me to the next step in the process. Even though I told you that setup was only three steps, it's not just gonna let you go, okay? It's not gonna leave you to your own devices. TeamZ is gonna keep holding your hand. So this is gonna take us to a huge portion of setup, okay? It's a very vital aspect of our system because the reason that TeamZ is so effective is that it's working alongside your priority. So you're going to take a hard look at every single person you work with whether they be a prospect, a customer, or a coach. And you're going to establish, this is my, these are my five-star prospects, these are my four-star prospects. What this means is that, you know what, these are my rock stars. My five stars, I wanna connect with every 30 days like clockwork. So you're telling TeamZ, serve this person up to me every 30 days without me having to go look for them because they are a five-star and they're a rock star customer, coach, or prospect, okay? Your four stars, every 60 days like clockwork, they're gonna to start to come up for follow-up. Your three stars, every 90 days, and your two stars, every 120 days. This one star group is gonna be sort of like a holding tank for people that you don't necessarily want to come up for follow-up um, frequently. You can just sort of put them out um, in a holding tank so that you can pull them up if you need to, but they're not muddying um, sort of your daily follow-ups. All right, now, the one other thing that I'm gonna say here, is that upon import, Teensy is automatically going to apply a three-star ranking to everyone that you import. This is sort of like um, a safety net uh, for everybody that you bring in so that um, no one falls through the cracks. Even if you kind of, you know, get started a little slower with ranking and prioritizing everyone, everybody's in there for follow-up, okay? Whether you've touched on them or not in Teensy, they're going to start coming up for reminders so that you can reach out and connect with them. And I'll actually show you what that looks like on the next page. So when we're ready to go through that rank process, we'll hit rank here. If you're thinking, no, no, I want to bring in all my files, then I will go back and rank. You can always hit save and exit. This will let you import another file. We'll hit rank when we're ready to rank. And the system is going to redirect me to the easiest page to rank from. Okay, you can do it lots. You can do a couple different things um, in TeamZ a few different ways. I hope that wasn't confusing. Um, but ultimately that just means you can rank in Teamsy a few different and from a few different pages and I'll show you that but the easiest way if you are bringing in all four lists and then you want to rank you would just keep importing once you're finished you're more than likely going to be on your dashboard this is the main page of Teamsy from here on the left hand side click on team this is going to bring up your all category this is every single person in the database manually added one at a time or imported the way that we just did. If you're ever wondering how many people do I have total, you can always follow along to the right of the word all and you've got a total number of contacts there. Okay, now um, when you're ready to rank above the list of names, go ahead and click on rank mode. This is going to quickly display everyone's current rank. Like I said a minute ago, everyone comes in at three stars. That's that safety net, okay? 90 days to follow up between each follow up for this in, in three stars. 
If I'm ready to re-rank people, I can always, you know what, just come down this list and say, Marla's a four star, Rachel's a two. You know what, Laura doesn't need to be in my database. If you come across anyone that you don't want in Team Z, you just click the little um, uh, tr uh, trash can icon and it's gonna bring up your delete confirmation. You delete them, they're gonna be permanently deleted from your database and it's just gonna move the next person up the list so you can keep moving. Okay, now I've got a couple tips here. I know many of you are thinking, oh, well, that's gonna take me forever. Some of you may bring in huge lists, 2,500 names, 3,000 names. In that case, I recommend that you take it in batches, okay? So because we've applied a three-star ranking to everyone, go through and try and cherry pick your four and your five stars. Everybody else is pretty much safe, okay? They're gonna start coming up for follow-up. But if you go through and try and just pick the people that need greater frequency follow-ups, then you'll be, in a, you'll be in a zone where you can just start with your power hour in Team Z. You don't have to get through every single person's ranking, okay? But also don't agonize here. This is something that's going to evolve and change with their progress throughout this journey, okay? So go through and just quickly try and establish who your four and your five stars are. Now, once you've gone through and you've ranked everyone, I recommend that you click on type mode above the list of names. This is gonna let you see where everyone currently stands and you can quickly say, oh, you know what, Shirley should be a customer. Trisha, oh, William, you're a customer, and customer, okay? So this lets you quickly re-establish re someone's uh, type and rank, and the system is doing an automatic save for you as you move along. So you don't have to search for a save button or click around to a different page. It's all done right there. Okay, so let's say that you've gone through and you've successfully ranked and typed everyone. Um, as you're moving along, you may realize, oh, you know what, Marlo sent me an email today, so I have his email address. If you click on a name, this becomes their profile. So let's say it's Rachel. Rachel sent me an email today, I click on her name, this becomes her active profile. I'll see that she's a Facebook friend. I can scroll down and add her email. Anytime I add information to a field, if I click anywhere else on that page, the system is going to give me an automatic success message letting me know that it has auto-saved that info and I can move on. It's gonna make your setup a little quicker, okay? You're just gonna get through, add the information you have now. You can always add moving forward in the future. Alrighty, so in addition to contact-based information, you can also bring in social media links, personal details like birthdays, spouses info, children, anything that helps you serve your clients better, okay? Now, um, in addition to these details, if you have anything that falls outside of these fields, um, I know, you know, as you build these relationships, you may find out they're having, they're expecting their first child or they're buying a new home. All of these things that come into play when people are thinking about making a life-changing decision. So, you've got a notes field here that allows you to basically make a notation about that client. It ends up being a note to you, from you, no one else can see it. So you can go in and kind of make notes uh, to your, uh, to, based on your needs. All right, uh, that's gonna be everything that you're going to be, um, as far as you adding information, bringing in details, things like that. That's gonna be your relationship profile. As you're going through and you are uh, cleaning up the database, manually adding people, you can always apply filters to the view that you're looking at. We're in the all category, so that's everyone that's in my database. But let's say I wanna see just my customers. I can always click the customer tab on the left. It's gonna run the filter and it's gonna bring up just my customers. Um, if I wanna see just my coaches, I can see that. Now, if I wanna see um, only that Facebook tag, so everybody that I connect with through Facebook, I can come down to my tags and I can click on Facebook. That's gonna display for me everyone associated with that tag, okay? <clears throat> now, kind of circling back to tags a little bit. I spoke to you guys about creating a custom tag upon import so that it applies it to every single person you're working with. Um, but let's say you want to apply a single tag. You can create custom tags as you move along for everyone that you're working with. So let's say I'm working with Marlo. Um, he is joining me for my upcoming challenge group. So I can literally say uh, challenge group 510, okay? You can do it by date. As I'm creating the tag, it creates a tagged list. So I can always click here and see everyone associated with that tag. So I can go in and additionally add more people to you know, challenge group 510. Or I can come into my all group and say, oh, you know what? Um, actually, Eric is interested in 21 day fix. 
I can literally add that. It's created the tag, so now I can add additional people to that, but then I can also see at one glance, oh, Eric's interested in 21 Day Fix. We connect through Facebook. All of this is stacking the odds in my favor to be able to connect with him on a real level. Okay, so that's kind of how you're gonna work the tags. You can create, like I mentioned, as many or as few as you'd like as you go along. All right, that is going to be the meat of the setup process. Once you've gone through and you've taken that hard look, you've prioritized the database, and you've put everybody where they need to be, customers, uh, prospects, coaches, you're ready to start working your power hour right in Team Z. So to do that, let's head over to your dashboard. Alrighty, so the dashboard page is going to be your virtual accountability partner, okay? So even if you're kind of going at this, you don't have a success partner yet, or maybe you're not as tapped into your team as you'd like to be, this is going to be a really great way for you to build that habit, okay? Without you having to go cold turkey or anything like that. Um, it's gonna give you the opportunity to have a quick view of what your daily goals are. So at one glance, I know I have 10 prospects to connect with today. I've got four customers and three coaches. What's awesome about this area is it's going to update in real time. So it's going to let me know how close or how far I am to meeting that goal throughout the day, okay? So I log in, I know I've got 10 prospects to connect with. My next step is to scroll down that same page to what's known as my who's up next section. Give me just a second. <clears throat> just a second there guys, sorry. Okay, so your who's up next section. This is going to break down for you the prospects, customers, and coaches you need to focus on right now based on their priority to you. So here are the five stars that you said you need are, that are your rock stars, people you need to connect with in the greatest frequency. They're gonna filter to the top of the list, okay? So Teamsy is going to monitor the last point of communication. It's gonna let you know Eric Johnson is coming up for follow-up because, well, Jay, you haven't connected with him in 30 days. So like clockwork, without me having to go and scrub any lists or search for him or check my calendar, it lets me know who I need to connect with next. Okay, so it looks like Eric is my next prospect connection. The way you're going to use your who's up next section is this area here to the right. This ends up being Eric's connect area. So I can jot down the actual nature of the connection. I could say we chatted about upcoming challenge group or uh, sent him an email about, or you can get in the habit of actually copying and pasting the message that you send the person. I think this is best practice guys, because then you literally know what you sent this person. You know exactly where you left off, what you said, what was discussed. So you can choose to copy and paste, or you can just basically make a little synopsis there for yourself. Again, this is a note to you from you. All right. As I'm uh, getting ready to connect with Eric, uh, I may be thinking, well, I don't even remember how I know Eric. I'm looking at a list of a thousand names. This may be a reality for some of you, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. You are just in that stage where you're building that relationship. So couple of things that you can do right from your dashboard without you having to pull up that Excel spreadsheet or, you know, unravel your long paper notes. You can go in and say, what activity have I, have I completed for Eric? Right from the dashboard. If you click on activity, it's gonna let you know. Have I sent Eric any messages? Have I logged any activity with this contact through Teensy? Does it look like it? I can click on details. Oh great, it looks like I've got his email address, I have his social media links, and I've got a phone number. Oh, and then look at that. He's a 21 day fixer. And you know what? He's one of my Facebook friends. That's what I'll do. I will send Eric a Facebook message. See guys, I'm just trying to showcase for you that certain features are going to help you sort of stack the odds, like I said, so that you can start tons of conversations. You're not having to stop to check information. It's all readily available in one place. All right. So let's say I've decided to connect with Eric through Facebook. I'll come back to connect because this is where I'm actually going to jot down what I'm going to say to Eric. What should I say? Hmm. Okay, guys, here is time suck number two, okay? Agonizing over what you're going to say to every bloody prospect is just not, it's counterproductive, okay? There is nothing wrong with wanting to take that personalized approach to with everyone that you work with. But if you are not creating a reproducible system, this is not something you can do again tomorrow. 
you're not going to be able to make that same impact in the exact same way tomorrow. So what could I do? I could sit here and agonize over what I'm going to say, or I could lean into my system. Okay. So Teamsy, we have created scripts and dialogues for you. Okay. They're kind of baselines, nice little one-liners, um, a way for you to sort of plant that seed for people, you know, kind of stop by, show them that you support them without having to uh, self-impose. You know, you don't have to get every single person on the phone. Sometimes it's just dropping them a message, showing them that you care and you're there to, to help support them through this journey. So um, if I'm choosing to connect with Eric through Facebook, I can click on my script section here. It's right in, on the same page. And from here, you'll notice Teamsy lets me choose scripts based on how I wanna connect with this person. So this is awesome. In a time and day where you guys should seriously be connecting with people the way they want to be connected with, okay? Find your people where they are. They like Facebook, send them Facebook messages. If this is someone who prefers text, send them texts. That's, this is something that's no skin off of your back and you're showing them that you can tailor your service based on their needs. Okay, so I'm choosing to connect with Eric through Facebook. The system automatically arranged for, arranges for me prospect, Facebook scripts. If I want to see every single script, I can remove a filter. Okay? So it's going to arrange for me by connect type. Is this the first connection? I could click on the first connection. Hi, Eric. Just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. Again, they're not meant to be um, earth shattering, you know, or life changing at one glance, but you never know how far the ripples go. You never know that they just needed to hear from you today as a reminder that, oh my gosh, look at this person so consistent, they support me, I could really do this with them, I could really make this change. You never know. So, connect number one. I'm going to copy the script here. I choose to do the copy and paste method so I know exactly what I'm sending each person that I'm working with. It also lets me update the name. I can personalize this, add a hey girl, you know, how are you, if I know something personal that they're going through. Um, how was the closing for your new home or whatever the case may be, okay? So I can go ahead and leave this as is. I'll do another copy. Because Teamsy does not send messages directly through Facebook, I need to open up my Facebook. So this is my process, guys. I usually keep a tab side by side. I'll come over to my Facebook. I'll find Eric. Drop them the message, come back over to my Teamsy. I indicate that this was sent through Facebook. You can literally stipulate where you sent the message through. I'll indicate whether it was an invite. Did I invite Eric to take action on something? No, this was just a check-in. So I'm okay with hitting connect here. This sends a message to my Teamsy immediately that I have logged a connection. It removes Eric from my list of prospects. So I'm only focused on the people I need to be worried about right now. It sends a message to that dashboard. I've completed one of my 10 prospect connections and I'm that much closer to my goal. At one glance, everything is updating right along with you, okay? So, um, so now that I've connected with Eric, he gets added to the, to, um, he gets back, he gets added to the cycle 30 days from now because he's a five star, he's just gonna reappear on this list for follow up. And that's just all I have to do, is lean into my system. So it looks like Marlo is the next person that comes up for connection. I can say, you know what, Marlo and I uh, chatted about upcoming challenge group. Okay, let's say he and I spoke by phone. I, again, could literally continue to make this as detailed as I need it to be. This is a note to you from you. Um, or I could just go ahead and log that connection. But this is actually an invite. I'm inviting Marlo to my upcoming challenge group. So I'd indicate that it was an invite here. It lets me stipulate what type of invite because Teamsy is then gonna let you run reports, guys, for accountability if you're setting a goal by team of, you know what, guys, we're gonna try and get to 50 invites. We're gonna try and, you know, uh, invite three people to the business opportunity, whatever the case may be. Teamsy is gonna let you pull reports on those in the future. Okay, so this is for a challenge group and I will log that connect. The connection's been logged. The system has now tracked that I have connected with yet another prospect, and it has logged one of my invites for the day, all in real time. Removed Marlo, and I'm just moving on to the next person. 
You just keep moving. This is the beauty of it, okay? You get to start tons of conversations, but these are conversations you're gonna need to keep going, okay? I easily start 20, 25 conversations in 30 minutes in Team Z. Why? Because I might send 10 different prospects the same script. They don't know it. The conversation evolves personally. It takes its own shape, but I was able to start somewhere, okay? I was able to plant that seed in their trust account, okay? Whatever the case may be. I was just able to stop by, support them, and move on to the next person. So you're just gonna keep moving through. Okay, once you get through all of your eight prospect connections, I'll move on to my customers. I've got four customers to connect with today. So I will click on my customer list and it's gonna let me know, okay, here are my customers that need to be followed up with based on priority. So if Shirley was a five star, she would be first as opposed to Trisha and William and, and, and Chesna, okay? So what I would need to do is simply go through, choose, okay, I'm connecting with Shirley first. I could select script if I need a script. I could view her activity. I can view details. Do I have an email address? Do I have a phone number? Any notes that I've made on that person? And then I'm free to connect. All of those windows are available for you right from your Teamsies dashboard. This is really gonna be helpful when you're accessing on the go, okay? Because Teamsie does in fact have a mobile site. I know you're living crazy busy lives. Sometimes the power hour may manifest itself when you're waiting for your kids after sports, after school, okay? <laughs> I know for me, sometimes it's 10 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes, you know, uh, when I'm stopping, when I'm just running in from walking the dog, whatever the case may be. Use the system when you have the opportunity to. So stick with me. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the mobile app on your, um, on your phone and everything, but we'll finish getting through kind of following up and your power hour in Team Z. All right, so let's say you've gone through, you've connected with your customers and your coaches. Um, I'm connecting with William. Uh, let's say, uh, William and I chat about upcoming event, okay? But you know what, William has to run right now. I'd love to, I wanna connect with him tomorrow to get him all of the details and just to let him know that I'm super excited for him to come. But William's a three star, so if I hit connect right now, he's not coming up for 90 days. Do not grab your calendar app. <laughs> Don't reach for a post-it. Right from your Teamsy dashboard, you can create the follow-up. So in this section, I wanna click on follow-up. Right now it's set to default, but because I wanna follow up with William tomorrow, I can literally click tomorrow. Now when I log this connect, whoops. Now when I tell the system how I connected and I log the connect, it has now let the system know that I have connected with yet another prospect. Okay, I have, oh, excuse me, that I've connected with one of my customers and that I have actually sent an invite. So as I connect with these people, it's going to go ahead and update the system for my customers, my coaches, and my prospects in the same way. But we just set a follow-up for Will. How do I check my follow-ups? I wanna make sure, be confident, I understand, especially when you're transitioning into a new system. So every single day, in addition to your prospects connections, your customers and your coaches, you will also have a follow-ups list. This is going to be arranged for you by urgency, so it's gonna let you know, okay, here's what's due today, here's what's past due, and so on, okay? It's going to arrange with the actual follow-up date, and it's gonna let you know who the follow-up is for. I can go ahead and connect right there on that screen if I wanted to. If this follow-up was dated for today, I would literally have a little notification here. So if you're thinking, well, how do I know to check the follow-up area? Don't worry, Team Z will remind you. Will remind you. Okay, so that's gonna be how we set follow-ups directly from the dashboard. But you know what? You may have a list of follow-ups already set for people. So as you're going through setup, you may think I wanna set some follow-ups right now. Okay, from your team page, remember this is where we see every single person in the database. As you're going through your setup, if you realize, oh, you know what? On my spreadsheet, it says that I should call Claudia next Wednesday. So I can click on Claudia's name, and right here I've got a follow-up line. I'll go over and click the little drop-down. I can either click one of the presets, or I can come down and select custom date. This is gonna let me stipulate, okay, next Wednesday. 
or you can go out further. If you need to go out six months, you know, a year, anything like that, uh, shorter, if it needs to be tomorrow, two days from now, you know that you've got those options. Teensy does an automatic save again, okay? It's got, it has added that as her follow-up date. Now if I go to my dashboard and I click that follow-ups list, I'll see that Claudia has been added. So even though her follow-up is not today, I have my upcoming follow-ups listed on my dashboard. All right. Some of you may be thinking, oh, well, I'm, you know, I sometimes have 10 follow-ups a day, 30 follow-ups a day. If that's the case, we always give you five to look at from the dashboard. But if you want to see an additional list, go ahead and click your team tab on the left. From here, I showed you guys that you have some sorting or some filters there on the left. So under your prospects, customers, and coaches, you've got an upcoming follow-ups list. This is going to arrange for you every single follow-up that you have set year to date. All right. So we've talked about setup. We talked about how you can really maximize on your power hour and how you can set follow-ups right in TeamZ, okay? This is the perfect time, guys, for me to show you a couple more features, and then I'm going to jump out and check out your questions. So feel free to jump in the question and answer section if there's anything in particular you want me to touch on. Okay, so um, from the dashboard, we talked about that power hour session. Another feature that's really going to help this, um, this kind of connecting with tons of people is an email feature. Okay, I talked to you about the fact that you have to send Facebook messages through Facebook and then, you know, uh, Instagram through Instagram, text messages through your third party app or whatever. But email, if you are a Gmail subscriber, you can actually link Teamsy to your Gmail and it's going to let you send emails directly. So let's say Carmen came up for a follow up as a prospect, but Carmen and I had spoken about 21 day fix. So you know what? I want to send her um, my 21 day fix email. I've already saved that in Teamsy. So you can actually create and save your own template emails and then send those out as you move forward. So to do that, I would click select type and I'm gonna go down this time to send email. When I click on send email, because I've already linked the accounts, it drops me right into the option to create the body of my email. Now, because I wanna send a template that I've created, I'm gonna click browse script. This is gonna let me choose email. And from here, it's literally going to arrange for me any scripts that I've created and then scripts that we have pre-populated in your Teamsy for you kind of as a starting point, okay? If you wanna create an email, you just click new script in the upper right-hand corner. This drops the blank body of an email in there and you can basically create your subject line, copy and paste the body of the email and save that for reuse. Let's say I wanted to send Carmen this 21 day fix email. I will hit copy script if I want to send it elsewhere, but because I want to send this as an email, I'll just hit send as email. The system drops the, the actual email right in the body. I can add a name, nope. make it look good. Create a title if I hadn't already, scroll down to the bottom and hit send email. And it will be that simple. You can in fact send tons of, you know, invites, uh, uh, just, you know, welcome emails to your um, new uh, brand new coaches, things like that. I really, I found that I was streamlining some of that campaign based work really easily with this email function. So feel free to check that out. So you can link your Gmail account. If you're thinking to yourself, how do I link my Gmail, Jay? Okay. If it's your first time, if you go over that select type and hit send email, it's going to literally see that you haven't linked it yet and it'll walk you through that process. Otherwise, in the upper right hand corner, go ahead and click the wheel and then come on down to settings. From here, click integrations on the left hand side and it'll let you know Gmail successfully connected or it's gonna have a big button that says get connected. From there, you will get connected to your Gmail. All right, so check out that Gmail feature. That's gonna really help you with um, that power hour session as you connect with people from your dashboard. All right, so guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the floor to questions that you may have. I know I went over a lot, okay? So feel free to ask questions. I may go over a few things again, just because they're important to know. And I know some of you may have to jump off the call. So I'm actually gonna share my direct contact information because some of you may not necessarily be tech savvy or you're thinking I need a little more help or that's not what Jay said it would look like, okay? 
feel free to ping me directly. I'm always here to help. I promise if you need to get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session, if we need to get connected one-on-one -on -one by phone, or if you're thinking, I've just got a quick question, I want to shoot her a text message, you can do that. All right, so I'm going to share my contact information with you guys now. Well, now. All right, so you've got my contact information up on the screen. Feel free to screenshot that or just jot that down if you need to. I'm going to check the question and answer section, okay? So head over there if you have questions, and I'm also going to check the chat too. All righty then. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull that contact information down so I can share my uh, Team Z screen again. I will put that up at the very end of the call again. Alrighty. First question um, comes in from Tracy. What if all of the people that I have contacted um, are all through Facebook and don't have their emails? So that's not a problem. So we get this question a lot, whether it be, you know, people that just like Facebook best. That's awesome. If that's how you're choosing to connect with people, you can still bring in your list. Um, the same way that I showed you where you tag them um, as Facebook. And then you can just do your copy and paste your messages over into Facebook. Or you can just synop just kind of jot in a synopsis into Teamsy. It's your choice. Um, now, would you be able to send emails through Teamsy? No, because you don't have email addresses for the recipients. So that's the one caveat there, okay? So you guys feel free to jump in the question and answer if you have additional questions. Let's see here. Um, so Dawn wants to know, so she signed up for a free trial but didn't end up using it um, because no matter her time, how many times she requested her Facebook archive, they never emailed it to her. Okay, so Dawn, you are not alone. Okay, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to connect with you before now to kind of get this answer over to you before. So Facebook is changing their process for exporting contacts. They have just, they haven't updated their users yet, which is unfortunate. Um, but their, their process has changed ever so slightly. Some of you may be included. If you're thinking to yourself, like Dawn, I requested my Facebook archive, it never showed up by email, what can I do, okay? For one thing, Dawn, I'm gonna go ahead and reset your trial, okay? So you're gonna be able to dive into Team Z once we get your contacts uploaded so you can love it before you decide, okay? Now, once we've gotten beyond that, I want you to head back to your Facebook if you find yourself in this situation. I'm just gonna show you in mine, okay? In my Facebook, in the upper right hand corner where you went to pull that initial archive, I'm gonna make this larger, okay. Where you went to pull that initial archive, if you click on the little arrow and head down to settings, some of you, this may seem foreign to some of you, you've already done this, so, so it looks familiar, okay. If you've already requested and it's taken a few days, even a few hours, guys, it's, it shouldn't take that long, okay. If it's been more than a few hours, head back to this area of, of Facebook. Come to your download a copy area. This time you may notice that instead of it saying start my archive, it actually says download my archive. So what Facebook did is they bypassed the email and they just dropped the file right in your Facebook for you, but didn't tell you. So it's unfortunate, <laughs> but I promise we're gonna get you all squared away, okay? So head back over to your Facebook, download that archive, and then get those uploaded to Team Z. Dawn, I'm gonna make a note for myself. I am gonna go ahead and reset that trial right after a call, okay? If you're thinking, I still can't get my Facebook file, Jay, it's not there, it doesn't look like you said it would, go ahead and reach out to me directly and I will help. Okie doke. Let's take a look here. Uh, so Tabitha wants to know, how do you add team members? So anytime you add someone new, whether they be a prospect, a customer, or a fellow team member, you can add them to the system by clicking in the upper right-hand corner, you've got an add contact option. Okay, this is going to be present whether you're looking at um, the, the team page or if you're looking at your dashboard. It's on every single page. You can click add contact. You can add a name. You can add as much information as you have at the time because you can always go back and add more as you move forward. I can indicate whether this person is a prospect, customer, or coach. I would add them to the system. From there, I can stipulate, okay, you know what, this is actually a fellow team coach. Or, you know what, this is a personally sponsored coach. Know that you have those additional fields as well. Okay, as you're going through and you're adding new people, um, you may add new uh, Facebook friends through social media. We recommend that you get in the habit of, of updating Teamsy as you go along. 
So what I do is every time I accept a friend request, I pop over to Teamsy and I add that person. Now, some of you are absolute social media gods and goddesses. So you are adding tons of people, okay? Like 50, 100 people a week or more. So in that case, you may not want to add manually or you may find yourself in the position where I just got behind you. I've got a ton of people. I don't want to have to manually add. So in that case, I want you to consider, remember I said that Facebook has a, uh, TeamZ has a duplicate filter. So it's going to allow you to pull another list, an updated list from Facebook, bring that into TeamZ. It's going to cross-reference that to everyone that already exists and it'll bring in only the new folks. Okay, so know that you have that option for those of you that are just killing it in social media. Okay, let's see here. Okay, uh, so Julie wants to know what is the charge after the 30 day trial for Teamsy? Okay, so Teamsy, you have an option to subscribe monthly or annually. Okay, the annual option is going to come with um, a discount for you when you choose to pay for the subscription up front. Whenever you're ready to choose, in your Teamsy, in the upper right-hand corner, go ahead and click that wheel, come down to settings. From here, click billing on the middle left, and this is gonna let you know not only exactly when your trial ends, but then it gives you your option between the monthly subscription and the yearly. The monthly is gonna be $29.99 per month, month-to-month -month option. You can cancel at any time, there is no contract involved. Our yearly subscription, we do offer you a $60 discount when you choose that one up front. So we're going to, you're going to complete, you're going to make the full year's payment, but that does lock you in for 12 months. So consider that discount when you're choosing. All right. Let's see here. Um, so Julie wants to know what kind of support is there for TeamZ? What I mean is there a live chat for questions. So awesome question, Julie. This is something feel free to share, to share with your team. All of my contact information, you can feel free to share with anyone on your team. They can reach out to me at any time. If they're in their Teamsy, they don't know where my contact information is, you don't remember it, you've always got an automatic help option here. This lets you send a ticket directly to us, okay? Myself and my support team monitor this all day long, so you will get an answer in real time. So you can feel free to send us any questions there. If you're having an issue with importing, anything like that, you can always ping us directly. The same goes for feedback, okay? Guys, I mentioned that we created TeamZ for Beachbody coaches. We want to know your feedback. What's working really well? What feature do you think would be particularly beneficial in the system? We've built in a little feedback option for you in the upper right, okay? Feel free to let me know what you love, what you like, what you know you can see less of, what you can see more of. These, these, these are things that we take to our development team and we make changes in real time. Okay, that's the beauty of Teamsy. It's kind of evolving along with your growth. So let us know what you'd like to see in the system and I'd be glad to take that to the team. All right, guys, let's take a look here if you have any additional questions. Okay, feel free to jump in the, um, the Q&A or the chat if you have more questions. I'm gonna show you a few more features. All right, so as you're connecting with people, you may, I don't know, sell them something. <laughs> you may convert someone into coach status. So you're gonna to wanna to make those changes, all right? Let's say I am working with Carmen, um, and she and I connect, she chooses to buy the shakes, okay? I can always click on someone's name, and the system's going to redirect me to their profile. From here, I can log a sale. So if I click on sale, it's going to drop for me a sale type. I can indicate, okay, I sold this person a challenge pack, shake home direct, or an other. These are very, very um, simple, basic right now, just because we want you, um, because we're, we're, we're working on adding more types uh, based on feedback and suggestions. So if there is a specific type that you wanna see, let me know. All right, so let's say she purchased Shake Home Direct. I would just stipulate that and hit save. This gets logged to the person's activity record so that you'll be able to see at one glance, okay, anytime that you sold them a product in the past, so you're creating a really great archive for yourself of their full history. Now, um, as I sell products, I earn income. Yay, right? We started all of this by setting an income goal. So it's gonna be important that you track against that income goal so that you know if you're close to meeting that goal for the year or if you're on track. To do that, head over to your business tab on the left-hand side. Your business tab is going to house your business statistics, okay? It lets you know at one glance my income goal for the year, $100,000, 
and I've also got an income goal. So now I'm, I can come in here and I can actually track income as I earn it. So if I'm ready to track some income, I can click the little plus symbol here or I can hit add income in the upper right hand corner. Either of them is going to redirect me to an itemized income report. I can come in here and literally add income by date range. So if you're someone who wants to track um, your earnings uh, monthly, quarterly, you have the choice, okay? Or you can enter them by earnings statement. Uh, come in here and say I made $500 between, um, I don't know, the first and the ninth. I add that income, it creates a line record and I can go, I can now in the future come in here and pull this report for accountability. If it's six months into the year and I need to kind of light that fire, this is a really great way of having, you know, a glimpse of am I actually on track? How close or how far am I to meeting that goal? Do I need to sort of kick things into gear, course correct, that sort of thing. All right, so you've got your income report. You've also got your, totally num your total number of personally sponsored customers. Your, totally <laughs> your total number of personally sponsored coaches. And then if you come down far enough, we've got a growth report, an activities report, and then your ratios, broken down connects to sales, sales to coach, and all time connects. Far enough down that page, you've actually got an itemized report of all of the activity that you're logging. This report is really awesome because you can come in here and filter this to see, you know what, I wanna see just my invites to challenge groups. The system is gonna go ahead and run a screen and bring up only that, um, only that report. You can run a query for just your sales, uh, just your connects, things like that. These reports can all be exported. You can print them. If you're that paper and pen kind of gal who's having some withdrawal, you can always, you know, pull your, your paper and pen option and you can, you can kind of cross off and, and check off your list as you go along. So those are gonna be your, re your reporting functions, your income tracker, and um, how you track your sales in TeamZ. Last but not least, I mentioned a while ago that TeamZ is mobily enabled, okay? So I know you're, you're living busy lives, so go ahead and log in, use the system when you can. We have a mobile site, it's not an app, okay? So you're not gonna look for it in your app store. I just recommend that if you are, um, a, if you're an iPhone user or an Android, just open up your browser, and I want you to type in what you see here, app.teamzy.com. So the word app.teamzy.com. From there, go ahead and log in, and then what I do is I actually, I'm not sure if this is gonna let you see this because of the glare, but let's see, okay. So I actually saved my Teamsy to my home screen. So it looks like an app and it operates like an app. If I tap on it, it's automatically gonna go ahead and log me into my dashboard because I'm, I've, I had it saved my login credentials. You can do the same thing. Now this is using my 4G right now, so it's, it's moving a little slowly. But again, I can always pull this up, know who I need to connect with, where I am as far as my goals are concerned. Okay, that loaded for me so I can show you what that kind of looks like. Okay, so I've got my circles. I can literally see how many people I've connected with. And if I scroll down far enough, I literally know who I'm connecting with. All of it right from my mobile device. I can scroll down, send a few emails. I can log a couple of connects for people so that I don't fall behind. You have access to all of that right from your mobile device. If you're thinking to yourself, how did she add it to her home screen? She jumped to, not to worry. I've got instructions. It's a little different for Android than it is for iPhone. You can always reach out to me after the call and I'll walk you through that. All right, so Monica wants to know what is the link again to access the mobile device, uh, the mobile site. So you're just gonna put in what you see on my screen right now, Monica. So the word, a, uh, so the word app, app.teensy.com, app.teensy.com. You can save your login credentials and then save that to your home screen so you can access it on the go. All right, guys, feel free to jump in and ask any last minute questions. I know I gave you a lot. I hope it was helpful tonight. If you have additional questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. I'm gonna leave my contact information up as you go. It's been a real pleasure, guys. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thanks so much for your time.